guys are doing well and keeping safe. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of the new Tesla app. Um, it's pretty awesome. I think it's well designed. And I think from a user experience perspective, uh, Tesla has designed it in a way that um, it really makes sense to any um, user. If you're brand new to Tesla, if you're brand new to that much of tech in your car, I think you will still be able to navigate the app quite easily. And um, all the features and functions are uh, packed in there. And I think it's very easy to understand them, even if you're a brand new user, right? So um, I only updated a couple days ago. I know the app's been uh, out for a few weeks now, but um, all in all, um, I'm a big fan of it. I have noticed some lags, uh, but I think that's just only gonna get better. But that being said, let me know what your experience has been with the new app, if you like it, um, what your general comments are, et cetera, et cetera, right? So um, for iOS users, and I apologize, I'm just not an Android user, so I'm not too sure about the functionality, but for iOS users, if you wanna add it as a widget, um, which is basically gives you a, a, a quick view of the status of your car, as well as an easy access right from your home screen, uh, simply hold down on the screen like this anywhere for two seconds. A little plus icon will appear on the top left of your screen. Click on the plus icon, and then you can just go ahead and add whatever widgets that you want, right? So from stocks to um, whatever it may be. In, in my case, I added the Tesla app as well as my local weather app, right? So um, again, bird's eye view right from the home screen, and to get into the app, I could simply click on it and it's gonna um, open up. So um, here's the app, guys, as, as I mentioned, very sleek and very beautiful. Uh, I think the images are really nice as well. I think Tesla's done a, a pretty good job with it. So on the top left is basically the name of your car. In my case, it's Lexi. Uh, then the number of miles or kilometers left in terms of range. And then the status of the car right under that, which is basically uh, parked right now. But if it's driving, it'll actually uh, show you uh, how fast the car is going the images will actually change into the car rolling on the street, which I thought was pretty sweet as well. And uh, it'll give you a uh, real-time status of, uh, of the car, right? On the top right-hand corner is uh, basically your user profile. Um, so there's me. If I want to go up to, back to the um, app, I just simply click on that. Or if I want to shop with Tesla, uh, there's pretty much everything here from wall chargers to apparel to accessories, etc., etc. right? So you could go ahead and do that right from the app. Um, then you have your inbox, basically any new text updates, uh, software updates, etc. Anything that Tesla wants to share with you should show up in your inbox. Uh, loot box is an area where a view of your supercharger credits, as well as um, any um, uh, referral links that you want to share with somebody that you know that's buying a Tesla. Um, and keep in mind, uh, I know a lot of you have already used my uh, referral code, so thank you for that. If you are buying, oh, there you go. Uh, that's what I mentioned. Sometimes it does lag and sometimes things don't load as fast as they, they need to or at all for that matter. Um, so you will notice that. Um, and again, I've noticed it very few times. So I'm sure Tesla is going to improve it. If you are buying a Tesla, if you have one on order and you don't have someone's referral code, uh, please go ahead and use mine. I'll put it down in the description. And for those of you who have already done it, uh, thank you again. Account um, is, you know, um, order history, uh, contact info, uh, and this, in my case, I just ordered a, a charger. Uh, and then charging, um, I, I know a couple of you guys have this comment. So um, if you don't have referral credits and you want to use supercharger credits, uh, or superchargers rather, uh, you simply click, uh, go there, you click on charging, you go into manage payment, and you'll be able to put in your um, billing information as well as your credit card right in there. And then history, um, as you can see, I don't use superchargers as much, but uh, there is history. And if you want more of a uh, additional history, it'll, it breaks it down by month as well that you can look there, okay? How much you would charge, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and again, if you're using supercharger credits and there is no charge, it's zero dollars and it's gonna show up as, as, as a dollar amount there. Um, settings, that's basically you could sync calendars and uh, control your notifications, uh, what type of notifications you get. And now, um, right under the um, car are basically four icons, right? So the first one here is if the car is locked and unlocked. Um, I don't know why my wife, uh, she's parked right now, she's doing her hair, but as you can see, the car is uh, unlocked, so I just locked it for her. Uh, the next one is climate. You could turn climate on and off, and I'll show you that on the climate screen as well. Uh, next is charging. Uh, so here's where you could go and set your charging limits and stuff like that right through the app, as opposed to doing it from the car. Um, also, if you just click on the 196 kilometers there on the top, it's going to pull up the same screen. So I'm going to click there. 
and uh, the same bar, toggle bar will uh, appear there as well. And then lastly, the uh, frunk, right? So if you want uh, to put some bags in the car, whatever it is, access to the frunk is right there. The next thing is controls. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on controls. And this is what I mean, you know, uh, Tesla made this very foolproof. Um, it's easy to understand, uh, you know, it's it's very easy to navigate and you, you, you know exactly what to do and where to find it from, from within this app. So in controls, uh, quite straightforward. You could open your frunk, you could lock and unlock the car, you could open um, the, the, the trunk, and then you could also open the uh, charge port if you need to, all from this screen here. At the bottom, you'll see four other icons, which is uh, flash the lights. You could um, honk, you could um, start, and you could also vent your windows, right? All from this control screen. If I pop into climate here, um, again, very well laid out, very easy to understand. I could do a series of things here. So um, I could uh, turn on my climate um, the same way I was able to do from my, my home screen. Uh, but here I have a little bit more control um, over the different types of settings, right? So uh, at the bottom left there, you'll see the off button. That means climate's off. Um, interior cabin temperature right now is 21 degrees Celsius. Um, exterior um, temperature outside the car is 18 degrees Celsius, right? So cabin is nice and comfy, but I'll show you how to turn that on. I'm gonna go ahead and press turn on, and it's gonna keep it at around 21 degrees right now, okay? Now, um, if I wanna turn the defrost on, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button. Uh, if I wanna put the steering wheel on, and just yesterday, you know, uh, my wife was taking Tesla to go drop the kids at school, so, you know, 10 minutes before they left, I, I turned this on, I put the steering wheel on for them, uh, put the uh, butt warmers on as well um, uh, for my, my older daughter and my wife. And you could also control the butt warmer uh, sensitivity. So this could be, you know, uh, low, medium, high, basically. So getting into the colder months here in Montreal, uh, all these things come in uh, very handy. So I'm going to take all this stuff off. So again, very easy to uh, set all those settings up as you need it, right? And now if I click on the 21 degrees here, you'll see another little toggle bar come left and right, uh, which is pretty cool. You could just go to uh, 22 degrees or whatever it is. So in this case, uh, I'm just gonna leave it at 20.5 here and I'm gonna take off the temperature. And also um, on this screen as well, you have the option to open and close the windows, uh, which is just basically venting out the car, right? Next is location. So right now, as mentioned, my wife is uh, getting her hair done, I believe. Um, so you could just go ahead and see uh, and stalk um, as you as you wish. But <laughs> uh, it's good, I mean, just to uh, get an idea of where the car is at, if it's safe, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, security, uh, right now it's just telling me that my particular card key, because I'm obviously not in the car, so my card key is linked to my phone and then via Bluetooth, it connects to the car, right? So right now I'm not there. So uh, my, my particular card is disconnected. Um, I could turn on uh, sentry mode here as well. If you have, if you don't know what sentry mode is, or you want to check it out and see how it really works, I have another video on it as well. I'll try to link to it here. Uh, so check out that video. Uh, you could also turn on valet mode. This is if you go to a restaurant or hotel and the valet has your car, you can turn on the valet mode and uh, speed limit mode as well. What else? Uh, upgrades, pretty straightforward. Uh, software upgrades and accessories, again, very well laid out, right? So if I click on software updates, as you can see, I could add the FSD here, I don't have it. Am I planning on add it, adding it eventually? I think so, uh, I'm probably gonna do that, but uh, right now um, I have no plans to add FSD. And then uh, you could actually uh, subscribe. So FSD, as you know, the Tesla announced that they might be coming out with, or they will be coming out with a subscription-based FSD and other subscription-based services. So you could actually go ahead and subscribe this when it becomes available. And then Tesla shop, you could access it again from here as well, okay? see again a little little laggy so I have my premium um, uh, connectivity subscription and I also have um, autopilot basic which everybody else does as well and then lastly uh, we could just jump in here I guess to upgrades oh we are, sorry we just did upgrades we could jump into services so services basically uh, you know if you have history I don't uh, but um, you could schedule a service from this section click simply click on schedule a service uh, select the type of service that you want. Um, is it a collision? Is it noise? Is it uh, something in the interior? Is it something to do with a touch screen or heating, AC, etc.? And then you could also add pictures and then go ahead and submit that to Tesla, right? And then Tesla will um, 
uh, respond letting you know that you know when you could expect somebody to come and check it, check it out um, so everything just a touch of a few buttons here and a touch of the screen rather and everything's at your fingertips literally right so it's, it's really really cool and then lastly uh, roadside assistance is also accessible right here so you could select uh, various different uh, do I have a flat tire is it a charging issue uh, the car is not driving etc so I'm going to just go ahead for the purpose of showing you the demo here I'm going to say flat tire uh, I'm going to say Tesla wheels and tires I'm going to say done and then uh, you know you could you could go ahead and type in your request and uh, also submit that uh, to Tesla and then they'll get back to you in terms of um, how, how far away they are and how how they become a help you and stuff like that so um, I guess that's about it guys. I mean uh, very well put together app. I'm a big fan of it I think it's really good. I think it's only gonna get better. Uh, like I mentioned there are a few lags There are a few issues uh, with the app even loading time for me sometimes just takes takes a little bit longer But again, I think these are very simple things that Tesla could um, eventually get through and hopefully uh, sooner than later and uh, Yeah, so let me know what your experience is if you've already downloaded the app and if you like it or if you prefer the old version uh, please put that in the comments below. Um, I love hearing from you guys and I love uh, hearing how you're using the app and any shortcuts or anything else that you guys could share with the community as well. And um, yeah, as always, like and subscribe this video. Uh, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to my videos, please check them out. I have a lot of stuff on Tesla. I'm also going to be doing quite a bit of stuff on assembly, do-it-yourself projects, uh, and tech. Uh, my house is actually full of tech, um, so I want to get to that eventually, but uh, I'll definitely share all those videos with you as well, because chances are if you're buying Tesla, you are probably a lot, we're probably a lot alike in terms of the type of technology and stuff that we're into, so I'll be reviewing a lot of that stuff as, as well with you guys, all right? So until next time, stay safe, um, and uh, please like and subscribe. Take care, bye-bye.